Hi, and welcome to Comsky Corner. Today we're going to be talking about utility software. This video is specifically for the new OCR GCSE Computer Science course. However, it's applicable for most exam boards. All systems are equipped with different utilities that are programs that perform specific tasks to do with the maintenance and upkeep of the system. Utilities include encryption software, defragmentation software, compression software, and many more, but we're just going to be focusing on those three today. Encryption software does exactly what the name suggests. It uses an algorithm to encrypt sensitive data to make it secure from hackers, so that even if it's intercepted, it cannot be understood. Defragmentation software is a bit more complex. Files are stored on the hard disk in blocks, wherever there is space on the disk. If there is no space big enough for a file, the file becomes fragmented, meaning that it is split up to fit into different smaller spaces on the hard disk. This makes it slower to access the files than if the files were stored all together in one place. Therefore, the disk defragmenter collects and groups all the free spaces on the disk together and moves the separate files around so that they are stored together in one place. This optimizes disk performance as the files become quicker to access. Lastly, compression software uses lossy and lossless compression to reduce file sizes so that they can be quickly transmitted over the internet. Compression software is also used to compress several files into a single zip file so that they can be transmitted, moved, and stored as a single compressed file rather than several separate files. As the concept of the defragmentation utility can be a bit tricky to grasp, let's have a go at an exam style question. So a restaurant has a computer-based ordering system which is running slowly. A technician has said that the hard disk is fragmented. The technician has suggested using utility software to defragment the drive. Part A wants us to explain how the restaurant's hard disk could have become fragmented. And Part B then wants us to explain how defragmentation software could overcome the issue of the slow computer system. Pause the video here and have a go answering the question. Then, when you're ready, click play and we'll go through the answer. So, for Part A, we have to explain how the restaurant's disk could have become fragmented. As it is a four-mark question, we want to try and come up with four different points to explain this. We know that defragmentation deals with two main concepts, files and spaces. So firstly, as the hard disk is in a restaurant, we must think of the sort of files and data that would be stored. For example, customer orders. When a customer orders food, their orders would be saved on the hard disk. Once the orders have been processed, they are likely to be deleted, creating spaces on the hard disk. Then, when new orders come through, they need to be fit into the spaces. If the spaces are not big enough for the files, the files have to be split up, causing the hard disk to become fragmented. Now, for part B, we're talking about how defragmentation software works and how it stops the computer from being slow. Well, again, we know that defragmentation software deals with spaces and files. So to start off with, all the empty spaces on the hard disk are collected together. Then all the files are collected together and moved to be stored together. And this overcomes the problem of a slow computer, as fewer disk accesses need are needed as all the files are stored together, rather than being all over the place and needing more accesses to be made to different places. And there is our three points for our three marks. In this video, we have looked at utility software, looking at what it is and focusing on encryption software, defragmentation software, and compression software. So if you've enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. See you next time. Bye!